Hey, what's up everyone? I hope you're all having a wonderful day or night. I hope you will enjoy today's video, so let's just get into it. No, but like, I love how guys say that women are too emotional, but they're the only species that decide to punch a hole in the wall when they get really angry. You know what I mean? Like, they're really angry and they just want to like punch the wall. They say that we're too emotional. True. Yeah, that's because we get through one emotion at a time. Calm, wall punching, back to calm. You go through all of them. Calm, crying, silence, crying, yelling, screeching, claim you're living, crying, screeching, yelling, bedroom fun, till not living, crying, back to calm. And maybe it's just me, but have you ever witnessed or heard of a man punching a wall in an argument with another man? No? Yeah, I didn't think so. I usually feel safer walking with my male friends because I trust that men don't have the chutzpah to try to catcall me or do anything wacky while another man is present. However, I was with one of my very good friends. He's this tall, bumbling giant of a man covered in tattoos with severe RBF. Like, I would be afraid of him if I didn't lack a healthy sense of fear. And we're walking, and this man has the audacity to catcall me despite this situation. And I'm in the middle of processing this because I don't know what my friend is going to do. I don't know if he's going to get weird. I don't know if he's going to yell at the guy what's going to happen. He turns to me, and he says... Is that guy talking to me? Sweet baby boy, you stupid demonic man child, why would that man be talking to you? Because he's 12 feet 7, covered in tattoos with severe RBF, whatever that means. It's pretty obvious the guy was talking to him. Between the two of you, he probably had the options to cat call you and get punched in the face, or cat call him and have you say, that's offensive. What's the worst date you've ever been on? Before I moved here, I decided, oh, I'll like, while I was visiting, I'll go on a date with a man and see if I could like find a husband, right? Because then I would get an apartment right away, you know? Yeah. It was just logical thinking. And so then I go on a date with this guy and we have like a nice date. And then he takes me down to the subway. I'm like inebriated, as the kids say at this point. Yeah. And so we're waiting for the train. There's a rat who has a hurt foot and he's wimping and I always carry snacks in my purse in case people are hungry you know yeah. and so I had a little granola bar so I'm like feeding him this granola bar I did take off my scarf to put him in my purse because anyone that knows me knows that if you need a mama I'm a mama and so I don't care what you were born as you know so I I went to pick up this rat and he was faking it and he ran off his leg was not limping he was just faking it and he took my granola bar the guy like whatever like said goodbye and I could tell that he was very turned off by that and then he never called me again after I moved here like seven months six months later or something I like go on a date with this guy and like it had become a thing where I like to ask people like their worst date stories mm -hmm. like like you so we were like at dinner and I was like yeah like what's what's your worst date story and he was like oh it's not mine it's my roommate's and he went on a date with this girl that he thought was like, I mean, he did say this, that he thought was super hot. And then they go down to the subway and she tried to put a rat in her purse. And it was me. Did you ever talk to him again? Either of those boys called me back. But hopefully you do understand why they never called you back. Can you just stick with cats like the normal people? Hi, here's some more sweet and nice things you can do and say for your man. And if he gets mad at you and feels emasculated by you or gets mad at me and feels emasculated by me, then he's a what? A loser. And you should what? Uninvite him from Thanksgiving and kick him out of your family. When he parks his car, uh, stand in front of the car and go like this. Even if he's totally fine, doesn't need help. Go like this, go like this, go like this, go like this. Do it a lot. Make him a romantic steak dinner. Put a little ramekin of ketchup by the steak in case he chooses to use that. Make him a little coupon that says, I'm your Uber today and drive him everywhere he wants to go. Smack his ass and call him petite. Corrupt his grammar, but do it privately and at a later date. Tell him you're proud of the man that he's blossoming into. Watch him play Call of Duty and if he gets shot, tell him it's just all part of this crazy little thing called life. Buy him new underwear, but call it lingerie. Paint his nails. Take an interest in his career. Ask him things like, what do you do for money? You, because there's no way you're getting any without paying for it. I guess I'm a loser because I don't let anyone paint my nails. I guess I'm not that secure in my masculinity and you should never invite me to Thanksgiving. And don't get me wrong, I'm all about banter in a couple. I live for it and I have to be okay with it because if you think I'm an a-hole here, imagine offline when I can just let go and be myself. But what you're saying is not banter. It's just demeaning the other one and you trying to look taller by stepping on the other person. Okay, but have you ever noticed that the same people that cause you to go to therapy are the same people that don't think that they need therapy themselves? Hmm.
Yeah, that's because I don't. Just because you had your fifties hurt doesn't mean I need to go to therapy. Just because you feel like complaining about stuff and there's no one there to listen to you and we have to pay someone to listen to you doesn't mean I need to go to therapy. Just because you need to talk about your fifties you had in the kitchen last week without having someone interrupting you and say, get over yourself, doesn't mean I need to go to therapy. It only shows you're either narcissistic, you like to talk about yourself and you don't care about anything else, or that your mind is in fact that weak. You don't need to go to therapy and complain about stuff every time you hurt your pinkies on the side of the bed. I would like to formally announce that I am going on Girl Strike and I am inviting you all to join me on this journey. Pretty much, this is Girl Strike. I'm gonna break it down for you. We are deleting all of our dating apps. We might even need to go private on Instagram. Pretty much we're going off the grid because for some reason, these men think that they have a multitude of options. We need to give these guys a little scare, a little spook. I mean, it is spooky season. What better time to do it? Ghosting season. I feel like everyone just thinks they have so many options these days and that's why people don't wanna settle or they don't wanna like ask on a date or they just get on the apps for like validation. I made a video about Tinder and someone commented on the video and they're like, well, Tinder's for hookups. Like, why do you think you would find someone on Tinder? Tinder is technically a dating app and Tinder used to be the OG dating app and Tinder used to work. I don't know, I just think everyone is bonkers and people need to be brought back down to planet Earth. That's why I propose that we go on strike. I'm not saying we stay off the apps forever. Maybe like a week, two weeks, like I said, give them a little scare. Okay, love you guys, bye. And if any of you are scared she is going on strike, I'm here to put your mind at ease. Maybe, who knows, she realized that, oh wait, no one wanted me before, so going on strike would be kind of pointless. The one we read around it is the video we've just seen. On top of that one are the videos she posted later on, pretty much daily. Oh, but fail, maybe she kept her word and she made her Instagram account private. Oh, you sweet summer child. Well, we can see right here that she pretty much did not. And just like that, one more proof that practicing what you preach is probably one of the hardest the thing but still to be honest with you all i was not even for a second scared she's gonna go on strike i'm scared now that she didn't okay hold on let me read this first pov point of view your girlfriend has toxic friends hey guys today's really not the day bro i'm so messed up right now why what happened me and my man got to break up with him i agree hot girl summer I agree. bro you guys didn't even listen to what happened i don't we don't need to we don't need to I never it. trusted him anyways. No, hear me out, bro. Sure. He caught me snapping my ex. Who okay. cares? Slay. It was literally one Snapchat. He's being so sassy about it. Bro, you don't understand. We ended up calling each other too. Like, it was so inappropriate. I feel so bad. I feel bad. For a man, I could never. Me personally, I like Drex way better. And Drex had more money. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. No, look. Okay. I'm down. I get where you guys are coming from. But he's such a nice guy. He buys me flowers every day. Like I wait, 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 wait. Are flowers Cartier? Are they a trip to Cancun? Is it a private jet? Is it a Louis Vuitton bag? Is it a Hermes wait, bag? Sis, you're kind of cooking right now. Oh my God, here we go. Is it a Birkin? Is it Chanel? Is it you know what we always tell you, Shabs. You're single, single until, until you're married. married. Okay, where do I even start? It's news to no one at this point. Your single friends are gonna keep you single. They're either jealous of what you have or they feel like they don't get to party with you anymore. I'm not even gonna go there, but there's this. She was cooking. $20 right now if you know what she was cooking. Three, two, one. You give up? Okay, fine. She was making Cheerios. <laughs> Whoever said women can't cook anymore was obviously wrong. In the end, Karma will be a bigger bitch than I'll ever have to be. I wouldn't go with bigger, but let's just say meaner. And funny enough, I'll choose her over you every day of the week. Women aren't objects. How about that? This, this is exactly what I was trying to say that bothers me about why older men go for significantly younger women. They don't do it because they think they're going to have great conversations or because there's chemistry or whatever. They do it because they equate getting a younger woman to buying a new f Gucci bag. We're people. We're not objects to buy. We're not trophies to be won. And on a side note, what a stupid comparison anyway. I mean, have you never heard of vintage shopping? I mean, if we want to talk about... They're coming for you. If we want to talk about buying objects, you can look for a vintage Gucci bag and it would still cost just as much as a new one. I swear, some of you guys are the most superficial, dull people on the planet.
Yes, I am. In the meantime, you're not superficial, I mean, because you would only date a guy that's 6'4". And no one argued the price of a new or a vintage bag. But as a proud owner of a 2003 vintage Ford, I think I would be ready for a 2024 brand new Audi. Yes, I know it's not 2024, but I still probably won't afford one until 2050, so there's that. There's also a video like this, and everyone went, go queen, or yes, grandma deserves a bit of happiness. I could not believe this. There's a 19 year old guy dating a 76 year old grandma. This is crazy. So the post is 19 year old makes his relationship official with a 76 year old woman. Loves breaks barriers. Love can do anything for love. There's no age. Says the young man in the photo. He's 19 and a student. His girlfriend's 76 and a billionaire. Oh, how convenient. He claims it was love at first sight. A beautiful thing. I felt butterflies when I saw her. And you can actually see photos of him making out with his grandma, which I think is actually like super duper gross. Do that because it is and it will still be if it went the other way around. But that's just me and it doesn't matter what I think. People live their life the way they see fit and who am I to say anything different? I'm just here to point the obvious. It's only when a man is dating younger that everyone is losing their minds. You've heard of Passenger Princess. What about Cockpit Captain? You know the guy that carries both bags while your Passenger Princess carries her seven personalities? Hey, excuse me. Uh, do, you, do you guys want a, a, a Starbies or? Who's we guys? It's well, you and your, you know. She only flew you out to bury the body in a different state. I would also worry about before inviting her to Starbase. The bill will come for 7 plus you. Anyway, this is gonna be the end of the video. As always, I do hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, I still appreciate you for making it this far. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and I will see you in the next one.